All right, all available to you, 844-580-9326. Let's go to Peter in Titusville. Peter, you're on WDBO. Go ahead. Thank you, uh, Mr. Olson. I am a landlord, and I have uh, in all of my lease agreements a paragraph that says, the taking in of additional residents, whether persons or pets, not initially declared and listed on the rental application without prior written approval by the landlord is a violation of this rental agreement and constitutes the immediate termination thereof. Well, how do I enforce that? If somebody brings somebody in uh, without letting me know, uh, according to well, Peter, my statement, they Peter, violate. let's start from the beginning. On your application, does it state how many adults, how many kids, how many pets yes. can be there? Yep. And so that's a great um, question. So that's a great question. So, Peter, let's just say that Peter's got a, a Caleb, Peter's got a lease that says two adults and one dog. And all of a sudden he thinks that there's more adults and more pets living in the home. What would Peter's remedy do as remedy be as a landlord? Well, Tom, my advice would be don't rely on the provision that says it constitutes immediate termination. There is a statute that deals with this exact type of thing. It is called the seven-day notice to cure. What I would do if I was the landlord here is I would give a seven-day notice to cure to the tenant. And what that is is it's a written document delivered to the tenant that says you are non-compliant with this lease provision because you have these additional people living here, you have seven days to fix that. If they don't fix it within the seven days, then the lease will be considered legally terminated and you can evict on that basis. If they do fix it within the seven days, then your problem's solved for the time being. But imagine a scenario where they get rid of the additional person for a day or two and then a week down the road again, they move back in. Well, what do you do? You don't want to give another seven day notice. Well, in that scenario, actually, you can immediately declare the lease terminated because you already did the seven day notice once. They engaged in the noncompliance a second time. So that is kind of the safe harbor for the landlord. Hey, Peter, just out of curiosity, I, I'm just asking, how would you know if somebody else is living there? Are you monitoring well, that is, how many? That is a good question. How would I prove that? Well, the, the vehicle is there uh, day and night, and the neighbor, it's a duplex. Right. So the neighbor uh, hears all the noise and disruption and arguing that's going on. And, uh, you know, this guy is, like, living there, and they're having trouble. And there's also an additional child that was, uh, you know, observed by, my, uh, by the neighbor. So between that and my own observations... You know, we're pretty sure. Yeah, that this I, guy's I there. agree with you. Anyway. So, Caleb, can Peter be sure enough to say, okay, I believe somebody else is living there because I see a 2014 Ford Toyota Toyota Prius parked there 24 7? You know, that's how I know somebody's there, or the neighbor sees somebody. Is that the kind of evidence that Peter can rely on? That's a good place to start, Tom. And ultimately, what's going to happen if you. Give the seven-day notice to cure. If you have to sue to evict and they contest that he wasn't living there, is number one, you're going to subpoena that neighbor to come and testify and say this person's always here. Number two, a good thing to do is to run the tag on the car uh, in some sort of database and see who the owner is because if the owner is not the tenant who you're renting to, then that's another great evidence. Hey, look, this car's here day and night. It is owned by, you know, X individual. So those are the two big pieces of evidence I'd bring into the courtroom for you based on what you're telling me. Would you want Peter to take photographs of that car sitting in the driveway at all hours of the day? Absolutely, Tom. Peter, have we answered your question for you? Well, uh, just one more. After the seven-day notice to cure is submitted, what if the party says, I'm just going to stay here? What do I file then? What's the next step? You know, it, it's declared term, uh, terminated. My agreement would be, have been terminated. But then what do I do? What action do I take to get it enforced, to well, get an eviction enforced? Yeah, unfortunately, if they don't leave voluntarily, what you have to do is file an actual eviction complaint with the court. And that basis for that complaint is the lease has now been terminated and these individuals are still here. You're going to win on that on that lawsuit if the lease is terminated, but it's going to take you 
you know, three weeks to three months, depending on what county you're in, how busy the courts are. Um, so your remedy would be to enforce the termination with an eviction. Peter, great call. Thanks so much for bringing that to our attention. Thank you for calling today. Let's go to 